and shit like that. It don't always have to be that, but that's exactly what I'm soon bring because so, we kind of stay um, happy, today, stay positive. I'm wearing my uh, You'll see uh, hey. Osho characterized by the uh, color yellow. Just checking in with y'all. Um, I'm in L.A. Look out for the lights. walls. Um, you know, it would be light-skinned, but it would be light I know some yummy hey. y'all kids who are light-skinned, but, like. Okay. So I met with my friend today, and she moved out here. She's from D.C. She moved out here. She's a DJ. Um, check her out. I'm going to put her uh, stuff in the description box. But we hung out today and we talked about, uh, oh, shit. We talked about, like, just, you know, what L.A. is like and, like, the art and um, things we're going to do together and stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, talked about, like, just, like, how it's empowering, like, California is empowering for black people and I was like you know black people here are black you know and don't are unapologetically black you know and she talked about you know the energy of this part of the country this area in the world in the world um and yeah I really I really fuck with it I really vibe with it out here I want to say um don't want to go home to that abuse huh so protecting black women in LA, um, what the fuck? What else? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all. Um, going to this uh place called the Reparations Club tomorrow. It's a black woman owned bookstore, and yeah, I was gonna explain something. Fuck, I was going, I was going to explain something. I forgot what I was going to explain. Either way, um, I'm 25 now and I feel really good. I see, like, I was, I was, you know, there's something going on, yes. But, um, I was really cute at 24 and now at 25 I feel really, I feel really good, um. Checking in with that. I feel good. It's cute. It's not bad at all. It's not. It's very cute, actually. It's very nice growing up and being able to grow up, you know? And um, just thinking about, like, how I'm a black woman, you know, like, and I experience things as a black woman, you know, like, that's cool, too. So, yes, my... Yeah, so I got this tattoo on my leg. It's very sexy. Um, it's very sexy. So I got this tattoo. Yes, that's what I wanted to explain, though. That's what I wanted to explain. Because I got this tattoo. We're going to talk through it. We're going to talk through everything. So I got this tattoo, right? It's right there. And um, it says, I love black girls, and um, the B is not capitalized. So I do think that's important for how I feel, but I don't want people to come and take that and be like, see, look, all black girls are the same, and you know, like, we're not a monolith. Like, and I I know what black girls that I need to pay attention to also, uh, so there's nothing wrong. I actually do like that it was lowercase because I do love all black girls, but, um, you know, it could have been, it could have been uppercase, you know what I mean? uppercase B, the B, but, um, I'm happy with it, because it's really beautiful, um, and I think it says a lot about what girlhood and shit, and womanhood and shit, um, and I think there's, like, a plea, because me and my friend were talking, and just black spaces, black female spaces, just black female spaces, um, and just being, like, within that creative energy and that feminine energy, um, and just it just it just kind of be like what about us you know what I mean like I know black men are on a spectrum of feeling different things um, towards women towards the state of the world as well um, not denying them headspace not denying them like a full range of emotion and um, opinion but at the same time it's like you see all these you know like remember uh, the brotherhood or whatever like the uh, the little my brother thing that Obama was doing and shit like that. I'm like, we need the equivalence. We need equity in this space. And for me, like, I I barely talk to men anymore. Like, I, 
it's like y'all don't change and it's like when somebody points it out you have an uncomfortable feeling and then can't move through that feeling and be be you know I think it's touching that you feel that way but what you're doing with it is not intentional and it's not it's problematic like you know what I'm saying so just uh put it in there and just like it's time for us to really like it's time for it's our time you know and it's also time for us to really um bring spaces to life um in a healthy way for us and engaging people need to engage with us better but also just us engaging with each other i think is really important when black women talk to each other i think that's very healing um when we talk to you know we can always do this work for the community but like where are our spaces and like our voices and things like that and and really becoming better and growing and actually not you know being purposeful in this life you know and being intentional and like having um connection and bonds that are um inclusive inclusive of you um basically and and um, nourishing, you know, women are nourishing, um, naturally, and I don't, I, it's very pure and potent energy that we have, and shit, we exist energetically as very, like, it's very much so every woman is a goddess, like, that's so true, and so, therefore, the respect and things like that, we can start garnering respect with, amongst each other and shit, that's what protecting black women, and this is just one of the ways we can protect each other, just really, being solid on what is ours and um you know committing to spaces that are just black women like we can do that there's nothing wrong with that you know what i'm saying and I, I, it's 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 important for me to say that because like i'm tired of being mistreated you know what i'm saying and um it's easier to work through problems with women that I be because we just understand each other. Like, girl, don't act like you don't understand me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna act like I don't understand you. But at the same time, we're not like all understanding. And like, sometimes it's tea. And some things, some things just need to get, um, you know, figured out. Some things just need to get figured out. And it's like, it's a lot of women are generators so we're always having ideas and emotions and things like that and i think that like to should be channeled especially for black women it should be channeled and protected and preserved because there is no way like i'm in this room like i can even tell with my own energy like you know of course like i'm a black girl like there are different things that point to that but I, I, what is really divine about me, I wait till you turn 25, you gonna, you gonna see, I told y'all the music sound good, the music sound better. Ain't that, and um, yeah, I think for us to be healthy and um, well in mind, body, and spirit, I think it's important for us to move forward you know, I mean, you could have a nigga. I still believe in black love, like, but I, I don't want to have to add that, you know, to make somebody see what I'm trying to do for my existence. You know what I'm saying? That was pretty cool. But, like, I wonder if y'all could, out here, everybody's eyes are, like, they just, like, it, it's so it's so pretty. And it's kind of, I'm from D.C., though. We kind of got the same it's kind of similar, but it's not. I'm from DC. I don't know. Like it's. I'm just looking. In my, I'm looking in my eyes and shit. And I'm really enjoying California. It's really nice out here. It's really nice out here. The the black women out here are so strong and beautiful, pretty. Like yes, and um, I don't know. We talked about different things like queer. The queer community, the black queer community, and yeah, we 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 was hitting, we was hitting today, we was hitting. So if you saw us, it's like no, I'm playing. But um, yeah, Clutch Brown Shawty tuning in. Have a good night.